I feel good, Garth. And yeah. tell me, will you tell me something? Yeah. How's your gay lover? Oh, he's fine. He's fine, thanks for asking, mate. Have you, uh, have you told your wife about him yet? Uh, no, what I do is I tell my wife that I'm nipping out for rehearsals, but in fact I'm nipping over his flat, you know, for a bit of... Yes, yeah. I know for a bit of... Yes, I do, yes, yes, and good luck to you, I say. Listen, don't you think you should go public, you know, and tell your public, come out of the closet and admit you're bisexual now? Well, actually, Norman, I don't think it's anybody else's business, you know? And I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell anybody. Of course, of course. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Gal, do you mind if I ask you a personal question? Now, tell me to shut up if you like. Go ahead. Have you ever uh, slept in the same bed with a, a man and a woman at the same time? <laughs> you know I have, Norm. I don't. Uh, don't tell me you don't remember. Well, mate, I've been so out of my head on drugs the past five years, mate, I can't even <laughs> bloody remember where I live. <laughs> so, was I any good? Fantastic. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. If you were an American footballer, you'd have been a wide receiver. Really? <laughs> that good, huh? Yeah, yeah. God, it's amazing what you learn about yourself, isn't it? Yeah. Eh? And that night, your granny, what stamina? <laughs> Hey, Granny, have a laugh. Lighten up. It's a comedy show, OK? <laughs> Hello. Quiz you, Bank. I like the way he speaks. <laughs> That's what I think. Steve. Junior. What? Right, um... Man to man, uh, art to art, birds and beasts, facts off. Right, uh, okay, geezer's got a what's his name? <laughs> and the missus has got a what's her name? <laughs> what's his name? What's her name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> A large portion. Yes, end of. <laughs> Hello, Geoffrey. Hello, Geoffrey. Is your pooch moochie? Is your matter slut? Is your doggy deep way down in the doggy dumps? Well, going for a walk and licking your cobblers all day ain't that much fun. <laughs> it's a dog's life. But none any more. You can pamper your poodle, make your terrier merrier, make your collie jollier. That's right. Is your Dalmatian a sensation? Why not wow your chihuahua with a complete makeover for Rover? Set a new trend for man's best friend and do it. Doggy fashion. <laughs> Yes, Jeffrey and Jeffrey's doggy fashion. Oak couture for Fido's of all shapes and sizes. Get this. That's right, it's the Pitbull Arena. After a hard day ripping people's faces off, why not let him relax? Slip him into a crinoline, a tutu with a frou frou. He'll soon be leaping all round the garden. The Covent Garden, that is. Doggy fashion. Get him. <laughs> the Reverend Bernard, what a saint. Well, bless me. This bow wow's taken his bow wow's. Dog spelt backwards is God. And if it goes backwards, it's got to be doggy fashion. <laughs> so, Geoffrey. Yes, Geoffrey. And who's our special doggy guest on the show today? My own special pet pooch, Sav. <laughs> Sav? Short for Slippery Savloy the Third. Mmm, this hot dog's real mustard. Pass me the tomato ketchup, she's good enough to eat. Now that's what I call a dog's dinner. So, if you've got a pup, dress it up. Doggy fashion. If you don't, you must be barking. Ciao. Bye. Avida Zane. Pet. Prick. 
Did you say something just then? No. <laughs> Wanker. <laughs> Look, Gareth, if you've got something to say to me, why don't you just come out and say it to my face? Yeah, all right, then. <laughs> That's the way you feel. My son's potty about sport, just like me. Hey, if you're a good lad, one day I might do your room out like mine. <laughs> Go and get your kids on and take them down the path. Neat! Your bloody head will hurt if I get old. <laughs> My lad's going to be a champion, no, even if it kills him. Oh, no, give, me, give us that. Come on, stand over there. Right, now watch, OK? You might learn something. Right. Now, relax, OK? Get relaxed, right? <laughs> Slipped out behind. Can I move on our camp? <laughs> Never break the three minute barrier at this rate. <laughs> Rubbish. You're slower than Sharon Davis, and she's a girl. <laughs> to learn, eh? My dad did it to me. I'm gonna do it to him. Now, shove up. I'm supposed to swim on the water, not under it. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Your Kev's willy. <laughs> Nobody laughs at my boy's todger, right? They're not. Hmm? Their is bigger than yours. <laughs> Switch it off! What's that then? It's a dictaphone. <laughs> What's that do then? It records my voice. Oh, that's clever. How did you get in there then? I didn't. This is a recording. Oh. <laughs> What's that then? It's a cup of tea. <laughs> Base video presents Katie Boyle live at Unleashed. And if it was a flash, I said if I could do that, mate, I'd be in a bloody circus. Katie Boyle, as you've never seen her before. Needs to leave a snooker queue. Out now. Do not purchase if easily offended. It's wild. It's wicked. Not since I went on holiday with two nuns and a bag of cucumbers. Yeah, she'll have you in stitches, but don't tell Mum. She puts the blue back into joke. And the vicar said, I'm just going to the hotel with Mrs. Palm and her five daughters. Fifty minutes of filth, filth, filth. And she said, I thought you might like to open the bottle. And Get your mates round for an evening with Katie Boyle. Thank you very much. Are they out there, Gareth? Shh. They'll hear you. Yeah, but can you see them? Yeah. And they're not a pretty sight. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah. I can't see anything. <laughs> Try turning round. <laughs> All right. So, what do you think? I think we're in trouble, mate. Uh, what about the balcony? Hang on. Yeah, they're better looking, but I still am, I'm not sure, you know. Uh, let's have another look. No, I haven't finished yet. I said, let's have another look. <laughs> if you let go of them first. <laughs> right. We're going to have to risk it. I know they're pretty unsophisticated, but if we're going to push back those boundaries of comedy, mate. <laughs> they might not laugh. It's never put us off before. <laughs> so we go for it. Yep, the new us. 
the brave new world of Hale and Pace. Yeah. Let's do it. Sorry, Mike. Can we, can we just go again on that, please? Okay, thanks. Okay. Right. Good evening, ladies and... Uh... Oh, God, I rehearsed this. I know it. <laughs> I know it. That's right. They're yes. bigger than ladies. They drink beer and oh, shave, ladies. Um, yeah. Let me try. Let okay, me try. Okay, you have a go, yeah. <coughs> right. Good evening, Lil. <laughs> Good evening, Lil. I can't move. It's not going. It's, it. right. No. it's all right. I've got it. Go on, then. I've got it. Go I've got it. Good evening, ladies and... <sighs> ladies and... Ladies and... Ladies and, ladies and uh, helpers, come on, ladies and. Ladies. Who said that? Did you say that? Did you? You said that? Yeah, he did. Go on, get him, no. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so easy on, sat in your seat. Come you want to try and get up here and go? Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stand there. Stand there. That's, that's it. That's it. Good. Just there. stand right there on your mark. Yeah. All right. All right. Right. Now look down that camera there, straight ahead, and read that board if you're so clever. Go on then. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, no. He's very good. He's bloody good. Yeah. All right, mate. Here's the props. Here's the you props. the rest of the Black, sedan, Stubbs, Sidney, Stanley Spencer are all names I find very difficult to pronounce. <laughs> You are an investigating forefinger. Aye? You get right up my nose. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, that's nothing. You are a right Mick Jagger. You got too much lip. <laughs> so you better watch it. <laughs> you is the 21st letter of the alphabet. Well, you is a female sheep. Ha <laughs> ha Well, you have got so much cheek, you could be Roseanne Barr's ass. <laughs> you are a curry taster's underpants. You're so full of hot air. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is what a town crier says. <laughs> you are a mating cow, cos you are so full of bull. <laughs> or you, a Gillian Telforth in a pair of jeans, cos you're all mouth and trousers. <laughs> well, that's nothing. What? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Milk bottle, leave it at. Bog door, shut it. You, a Captain Cook off the coast of Australia, cos you're looking for it. Ooh, man in the jelly fight, he's throwing the wobbler. <laughs> you listen to me, mate, you, or my breastfeeding mother's nipple. Cos when I finish my drink, you're gonna be sore. <laughs> Absent-minded mechanic, he's lost his rag. <laughs> Candle snuffer, you get on my wick. Hub game, ain't me? Shove it. Old fashioned toilet outside. <laughs> Matthew Kelly, you bet. <laughs> Second in the gangbang after you. Oi, 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 oi. Sign on the toilet door. Hey? Gentlemen. Oh. Frankie goes to Hollywood five weeks at number one. No. Relax. <laughs> Chimney? Chimney? Huh. On the house. <laughs> Pope's knob. No hard feelings. <laughs> oh, 
old grapes of wrath. <laughs> oh, I'm your new instructor. <laughs> now get rid of that book. <laughs> right, okay. And uh we don't want to get too stained that way. <laughs> Tell me, is this uh your first time? Yes, it is actually. Does it show then? <laughs> I can feel you trembling through your seat. <laughs> yes. I've done it myself, thank you. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Winter warmer. Want some? No thanks. <laughs> Top marks. Never drink and drive. <laughs> Check with your mirror. <laughs> Get started up then. Now relax, boy. Oh, I've got somebody here who's going to help you. Mr. Sausage. Are you all right? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you all right? Oh, no. Are you all right? Oh. You better try it mouth to mouth. Oh, hello, is that Gareth? No. Gareth, Gareth Hale? No. Oh, um, sorry, I thought this was Gareth's number. I, I used to live here. Oh. <laughs> Where are you living now? Uh, Cornwall. Uh, I moved to Cornwall. Uh, it's really nice down here, actually. Oh, that's fantastic. Sorry, it's just that I thought I'd dialed your old number, that's all. No, this is a phone box. Well, that's amazing. Yeah, uh, I was just walking past this phone box um, in St. Ives, and it was ringing, so I answered it. <laughs> that's an incredible coincidence, Gareth. I'm not Gareth. <laughs> Would you like to speak to him? Is he there? Yeah, I'll just give him a call. Uh, Gareth, there's a call for you. Mm, yeah, hello. Huh. <laughs> Is that Gareth? Norman, how are you? Bye. <laughs> Benny, is it true you have been smuggling goods into Sweden? Yes, Benny, I think so. Have you been smuggling excess packed tobacco? <laughs> Benny, have you been smuggling alcohol? <laughs> Benny, then you have been smuggling a great big sexy dildo vibrator. <laughs> Available for the first time on video from the magic quill of Charles Dickens, a timeless tale of old England, Fuzzy Wick. Good day to you, Mrs. Wiggy Tinkle. Benefactor, philanthropist, guardian. He's a paragon of Victorian virtue. Edwin, you'll care yourself to death. I know, my dearest darling Emily. He'll tug at your family's heartstrings as he rescues little orphan boys from the streets of London and teaches them right from wrong. Oh, I hurt you more than it does me, sir. Speak when you're spoken to, my dear Stig. Or by your nostrils, I must reluctantly once again hang you. It's a damn shame you didn't leave me up there for longer, sir. You like tips? Tibbs! Lunch or lesson yet, boy? Not today, you see me right, sir. It's the merry, magical, mirthful on, musical enough. experience of a lifetime. Sir's <laughs> blooming right. These days are for me, boys, without a dad or a mum. Till Mr. Fuzzy Wig came to care for us, even though we called us scum. He has put us on the straight and narrow As a Dickensian philanthropist should And when he has to punish us No, it's for our own good <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Fuzzywick Don't 
mention it, dear boy. <laughs> tonight, Edgar? Yeah, fantastic. They obviously enjoyed it. Who's that then? The studio audience. They're still here. <laughs> Good Lord. What about the viewers at home then? Hang on, mate. Have a look. Uh, yeah, there's still quite a few of them there. Mm -hmm. oh, talk about overstaying your welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Have a word, no. Yeah, okay. Uh, look, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you've been great and all that, and it's been a pleasure having you, but me and Gareth are a bit knackered now, so if you don't mind. Um, can I get a cab for anybody at all? Oh, no. I think it's working, yeah. As a matter of fact, I think they want to sleep over. It really stink in the morning. <laughs> Good night, Gareth. What the hell's that? <laughs>